today is day number two and we arrived at Cliffs of Moher. The weather is actually very, very bad right now and it's windy outside. So I don't know how the film, um, how the video is going to look, but hopefully you're going to have a nice experience. And um, we got the leaflet in Russian because they don't have any in English, but it's fine. Um, yeah. And then we'll see, maybe we'll visit one or two places that are very close to Cliffs of Moher here. Um, La Hinge Beach and Spanish Point and then get something to eat and go back to Galway for um, a great time in the beer tent, hopefully. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So this is where our Cliffs of Moher adventure has started. Uh, we first met this amazing man with his dog that just made the whole trip more interesting. So about the cliffs themselves, um, they're stretching across eight kilometers along the Atlantic coastline of County Clare in Ireland. And they are Ireland's most visited natural attraction with over 1 million people coming to experience the cliffs each year. The cliffs themselves are about 320 million years old, dating back to when Ireland's ancient rivers laid down sediments on the seabed to form the rocks of the cliffs of Moher. I have been to the cliffs multiple times and uh, every time the weather has been different it just seems to have its own microclimate mm -hmm. <laughs> There is my friend leaving me alone It's scary to think that we are walking literally on top of the cliff and this can fall any minute and we can be in the water um, what do you think about that? Okay. Um, I'm Okay. Because we are crazy like that, we decided to take a long walk in despite of the weather being really windy and to, you know, walk across um, the cliff itself. It was very, very windy, but also very beautiful. And we didn't really regret this decision. Um, and in case we were going to die, we were together at least, you know. We also had the chance to see one of the most beautiful rainbows ever. Um, it was actually a double rainbow and uh, we kind of thought we were going to manage to find um, the golden pot, but we didn't. Instead, we uh, nearly knocked the baby over and uh, we just um, kept walking around and doing stupid things like this one, um, trying to climb over the fence where it says don't climb over, over the fence, you know. matter the amount of times I came to this place it looks amazing every time um, like I think it looks different in different weather as well which is very good and interesting <sighs> Cliffs is like definitely one of the most see places in Ireland if you're ever going to visit or even if you've been here you haven't been to it. as we've left the cliffs we went to La Hinge beach for a few minutes and it was a beautiful sunset and afternoon with some big waves, which I definitely would have appreciated if I was a surfer. Unfortunately, I surfed two times in my life and those weren't too successful. The beach is absolutely stunning and um, I would love to go there in the summer and actually try to swim. This was uh, the rest of our day and we went back to Galway. 
In Galway, my friends were waiting to meet Anna and we decided to go out in that night and um, I've actually invited a few people over to the pub and we also were thinking that we will get into the beer tent. However, we queued up for more than half an hour and decided that it wasn't really worth queuing up anymore and instead we we're just gonna go head for one of the pubs in <laughs> So this is technically a quick tour of Galway if you want to say so, although I haven't really showed much in this video, but um, it's very cute and very festive at the time. Us here? <laughs> Are we the first ones? <laughs> we got to the pub and we were one of the first ones. The atmosphere was quite dead at the beginning. However, then we had a great night and um, just, you know, had fun, had some drinks, had some laughs, and then uh, headed home. And then we had to wake up next day. Here we go, we are, um, you know, going to bed and waking up hangover for another trip through Ireland. Day number three, and we're off to Panamara. And hopefully the weather is going to get better over there, but it was crap with yesterday. So it's around, it's around one hour and 13 minutes when we get there. And then on the way back, we'll take a longer route. To be completely honest, I had no idea where we were planning to go. I just wanted to bring her to Connemara, so I took her on a trip. Connemara is always beautiful, so if you don't really know where to go and you don't have a plan, just, you know, drive through, hoping that you'll uh, come across something nice. And that's what we did. We are in the middle of Connemara right now. Mm -hmm. um, we took some amazing pictures around um, it's still very nice in despite of not being sunny but I still hope that we can see some sun at some point and some amazing rainbows because I think the best rainbows you can find are in Connemara and maybe we'll find that gold pot at the end of the rainbow as well Kilimore Castle was built in 1868 as a private home for the family of Mitchell Hendry, a wealthy doctor from London whose family was involved in textile manufacturing in Manchester. Later on, um, the castle has become known as the Kilimore Abbey, which is a Benedictine monastery founded in 1920 on the grounds of the castle by the Benedictine nuns who fled Belgium in World War I. We got the map and I said that I'm from Gola and she's from Italy and they gave, they gave us the map in Italian but we don't actually speak Italian but it doesn't matter it just shows us like the way it should take around two hours to do the entire Kilimore Abbey walk including the Gothic church and um, inside the castle as well so it should be pretty interesting um, never been here before on the actual tour I was here just to see the abbey from the outside, walk, um, but it seems that it's, it's got like a very interesting history and uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully it's not going to rain <laughs> while we are walking because most of the things are outside. Um, yeah. That's the Gothic church, probably, and that's what it says here as well. So that's our first destination.
As the legend says, you have to stay with your back against the stone um, and try and get three pebbles over it and make a wish. You can't wish for money, um, but you can wish for love. I'm going to wish for something, I'm not going to tell you, but <laughs> let's, let's try it and hopefully it's going to become true. After making a wish, we've uh, decided to depart further to the castle because this was probably the most interesting part for me personally to see what was inside it, how were the rooms, how fancy it is, can we see the nuns, please, something interesting and somewhere warm as well because it was windy and cold. comes my favorite room in the whole house um, this was the dining slash kind of a living room and uh, it just gave really cozy family vibes but to my surprise it wasn't just a family dining room um, as you can see all these um, plates on the table they had a name on them so most of the plates actually had a famous name like either queens or kings or writers and poets that were just really famous and respected at the time and it just um, made it unbelievable um, that I was there. So we've seen already um, inside the Abbey and the other two places I've showed you and we are gonna probably get the bus now and go and see the gardens and there is some statue um, that we're not going to walk. Yeah, it looks like the Christ, but I don't think it's Jesus Christ. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to go there as well. Um, I don't know how often the bus travels. So hopefully it is anytime soon because yeah. we are not actually asked to walk there. Maybe they will give a bus just for us. Yeah, I mean, VIP treatment <laughs> or someone um, with a Range Rover can come pick us up, you know, someone good looking. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see I think there are some other people waiting for the bus anyway so that's good news hi are you waiting for the bus as well are you waiting for the bus as well so to our luck we didn't have to wait for the bus too long it arrived within five minutes and we um, didn't have to walk all the way there which was pretty nice mm. Hello. Do you need to see the tickets right I say point.
we are in the gardens now and they are very nice uh, but I think for sure that they're nicer in the summer when all the plants are um, blooming and blossoming um, because as we can see now lots of the plants are dried out um, so it's not the season for them but it's amazing I mean I wish this was my garden <laughs> Um, a lot of the plants are planted in the 19th century style, which is very interesting to see. And I don't know how many gardeners they need to have to take care of this place because it's huge. And it's very um, neatly and cleanly looked after. When walking through the garden, we found this uh, little house, which was a winery. And it was um, very small, but um, we didn't know what to expect from it. So uh, we actually found this pretty interesting tree that was there and where people just wrote different notes uh, to their loved ones, to the people that they miss um, or just any thoughts. And we wanted to write something. However, we didn't have a pen and there was no pens there. It was quite sad. If you are French, draw a circle. <laughs> Interesting. Pijam s Kremen Roman. Let's go. We already have 12,000 steps today, so uh, we deserve good food afterwards. Chicken wings, fish and chips, and for her maybe a beer. No. No. No, no beer. <laughs> um, yeah, we wanted to take the bus back, but the last one is at 4.45. No, I don't think that's the bus. So we are just gonna walk, go really quickly, have one hour drive and can't wait to eat. Also, it's gonna be very packed and I hope we get the place in the Oslo bar because that's where a lot of people go to watch the match and tonight Ireland is playing against New Zealand in the rugby match, um, All Ireland. Blacks. Yeah, go Ireland. Um, <laughs> I actually have no idea about like rugby rules and stuff. I should probably go to some game and learn at this point because it's been eight years in Ireland and um, I'm only getting interested now in, in rugby. So this is it, the series of the mini vlogs of Anna in Ireland and me showing her Connemara in Cliffs of Moher are over. Um, here we are just heading back to Galway where I was going to show her the best uh, seafood chowder, chicken wings, let her relax before I brought her to the bus stop where she just went to Dublin and flew back to Milan. Unfortunately, I didn't get to fly back with her, but um, I was pretty happy she visited me and hoped that uh, we'd get to see each other somewhere soon again. Here's Anna enjoying her food. It was actually the best seafood chowder I had in a while. <laughs> 